What's up guys, welcome back. I have something extra special for you guys today. This is one of my all time favorites. This is my recipe for Mexican street corn. But before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to hit that bell, enable notifications as well. All right guys, meet me outside by the grill and let's make it happen. Well, if you don't have a grill, you can do this inside in the kitchen as well. You just put it in the oven on the broil setting, and I'll walk you guys through that here in just a minute. But for those of you that are on the grill with us, since it's the summertime, we're going to go ahead and dump some lump charcoal into our big green egg or whatever grill you're using is fine. You can do this on a gas grill as well. I'm just going to get the charcoal started here with some starter sticks. Once the charcoal turns gray, we know it's ready. In the meantime, while we wait for that to happen, we're gonna get in the kitchen and prep our corn. So here I have four ears of corn, husk and silk removed. We're gonna place them on a baking sheet here, then we're gonna brush on some melted butter. Now, you could use olive oil or any kind of vegetable oil that you want, but butter tastes better. So that's what we're going with today. Just gonna brush on some melted butter and honestly guys corn and melted butter is a match made in heaven you could eat it straight up like this but we're gonna show you guys how to do some elote today hitting it with a little all-purpose seasoning is my blend of salt pepper garlic and onion powder that all-purpose seasoning is for sale finally for you guys the link is in the description box for that go ahead and check that out I appreciate your support but if not you can just use whatever you got in the house a little salt pepper garlic onion powder any kind of all-purpose seasoning that you might have laying around. Mine's probably a little better, but shameless plug. Then we're gonna break out our knife and we're gonna chop up some cilantro. If, if you're one of those folks that doesn't like cilantro, that's cool, you can use parsley instead. But for the rest of us, we're gonna chop up about a quarter cup or so of cilantro. Like you see right here. And then we're gonna cut a lime in half because we're gonna need the juice and the zest of a lime. Next, we're going in with a quarter cup of mayo and a quarter cup of sour cream. And the juice of one lime. Just make sure you don't get any seeds in there. If you do, just pick them out, no big deal. There we go. This recipe is packed with flavor. As always, guys, specific measurements and ingredients can be found in the description box below. We went ahead in with our cilantro, a teaspoon of garlic, and some tahini, and a pinch of sugar to balance the acidity. Break out the whisk and mix to combine all of those delicious ingredients. This is gonna be what we're gonna brush on our corn before we put the cotilla cheese on there. If you can't find cotilla cheese, this is what it looks like at your grocery store. Most grocery stores have this in the specialty cheese section. If you can't find it, you can use feta. This is basically a Mexican feta. It does taste a little bit better than feta cheese in my opinion, but feta would work in a pinch if you can't find cotilla. There we go. We're just gonna crumble it up with our hands like so, and then we're gonna zest one lime in there just to add a little bit more flavor. This is optional, but it does add a pop of citrus, and I just think it tastes really good. So, you know, up to you on that. There we go, looking good. Quick reminder guys, all the specific measurements and ingredients can be found in the description box below, so don't forget to check that out. Now we're gonna work in that lime zest into our cotilla cheese. And it's just about time to throw our corn on the grill. So here I have these long skewers. You wanna soak them in water first to make sure they don't burn. This just makes it easier to handle when you're cooking them, and it also uh, makes it easier to eat as well, but it's optional. So we're gonna put the corn on the cob on a stick, like so. Takes a little forearm strength. Don't use too much forearm strength or you'll end up doing this. Way to go, Matt. Nice work. Once you've got all of that taken care of, we're ready to go out to the grill. All right, and we're back on the grill. So we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of oil just to make sure that nothing sticks to the grill grates. Be careful guys when you're doing this, you don't wanna pour oil directly over an open flame for obvious reasons. So you wanna pour it on a napkin or a paper towel like you see me doing right here, and then just brush it on the grate. 
We want to preheat the grill to 350 to 400 degrees, depending on what kind of grill you're using. For those of you guys that are in the kitchen and using the oven, just preheat your oven to 400 degrees, and that will be the temperature that you cook the corn for about 15 minutes. And then during the last three to four minutes, you want to put it on the broil setting. That way you get some nice char. For those of us that are on the grill, you just want to keep an eye on this. This cooks pretty quickly, so maybe 12 to 15 minutes. You just want to rotate the corn occasionally to ensure that it's cooking evenly. You want a little bit of char, but not too much. Something kind of like what you see right here. Really brings out the natural sweetness in the corn. It's absolutely delicious, guys. If you've never had grilled corn, you have got to give this a try. Once it's nice and tender, we're gonna go ahead and pull it off of the grill and then we'll be right back into the kitchen to add our mayo mixture and our cotilla cheese and we'll have Mexican street corn. In order to do this, you wanna take a pastry brush or a spoon and just kind of brush on that mixture onto the corn. Like you see me doing right here. Don't go too heavy on it though, just a nice thin layer. That's gonna ensure that the cotilla cheese really sticks to the corn. This is one of those things that you just gotta try. If you've never had it before, please give this a try. Next, we're just gonna scoop that cotilla cheese onto the corn like you see me doing right here. And then we're gonna add a few sprinkles of tahini. If you can't find tahini, guys, you can use smoked paprika or chili powder in place of that. There we go. Oh man, I can't wait to eat this. This is one of those things when you put it in front of me, I just can't stop eating it. I gotta really, you know, use some self-control when I go out to eat or when we make this for a cookout. Fantastic side dish, comes together pretty quickly, 20, 25 minutes max. And it's an absolute crowd pleaser. Brace yourself for a trademark money shot. We're gonna hit this with a little fresh chopped cilantro or parsley for my folks that don't like cilantro. Either one will work just fine. And you know I gotta go in here for a taste test. This actually turned into me eating two or three of these, I believe. Here we go, moment of truth. Oh man, that's good. Give this one a try, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is my recipe for Mexican street corn or elote. Just looks absolutely fantastic. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and that bell to enable notifications. And as always, thank you for your support.